So we're gonna get a chance to sit inside this incredible uh, S2000, this is the Shop S2000. It's actually that exact car, uh, belongs which belongs to the boss. <laughs> And, uh, and now this has now become the, 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 the shop's you know, demo car. And this car actually still runs. So it ran uh, Attack last year. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You, you taught me how to do this. So head first, right? 56 seconds on that scuba, which is fantastic because it's the NA car with 2.2 liter engine. 2.4 liter engine. Uh-oh, something's Every single time. Okay. Okay. You should push your seat back out there. Okay. Okay. Struggling over here. Hang on. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. One position. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, mate. All right, so I gotta, I gotta figure out how to get in here. Uh, this is what I've been training for. <laughs> No, I don't know what kick was going to Okay, okay. Okay. That was really difficult. Now you're sitting in a proper full racing bucket seat with um, head side support so that you don't get tossed around. Mm -hmm. So you can so take naps, right? And the seat On a long endurance there. race? Yeah. You can take a nap? You're, you're actually in a carbon Kevlar seat as well. Mm. This is very, very different. This is a full competition seat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, how do you feel? This is like <laughs> the ultimate evolution of my car. You know, but it's, it's really, really interesting how it literally started as that car and then changed one piece at a time. Everything, everything has been changed. It's a 2.4 liter stroke up engine. 2.4, wow. Yeah. And the gearbox has changed to a, a Hewlin uh, straight cut, straight cut dog box. Um, fully lights in, and also um, you see the door panels. It's, it's carbon mm -hmm. fiber, it's a full mm -hmm. roll cage. Uh, mm -hmm. The body's probably been stiffened. ASM has some really interesting um, strengthened subframes over there, mm -hmm. which they've probably developed from. Um, experience in racing and in time attack category you can basically do there are no regulations like mm. there are but like the regulations for are not as strict as racing so that's why you see all these crazy aerodynamics and robotic it's just to achieve the fastest time possible on a given stage on the straight and in the corners mm. okay so how does elbow get out of a full bucket racing seat which you can't even move the position okay right. this is a this is the elbow attack the elbow attack but Move the steering wheel up. Yes, slowly. Don't damage anything. Yes. Okay. <laughs> come on, elbow. Martial arts flexibility test. Don't touch that side skirt. No, come on. The gas. Oh, yes, you did it. Right <laughs> turn. Mm. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> Sasuga Pro. <laughs> I'm more flexible than you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have okay, okay. How about getting out? We just learned that this is the same company as normal Autobox. Yeah. Right? Okay. Subsidiary demo same group. Oh, same, same group. Same company. Basically. Oh. Just a different brand name. Why did you not have a special t-shirt? Ah. It's your interest. You love S2000, you like Recaro, so you want to make this concept. So. Wow. Whoa, that's so interesting. I love S2000 and Recaro seat. Yes. What do you say? I'm going to go to the shop and I'm going to go to the shop and I'm going to go to the shop and I'm going to go to the shop. Wow. 
オープンしたお店おお実際今日今こうなってるんですよそうそうそうこれ当時こういう物件があったんでこの,この物件をレカロシートと S2000 のスペシャルショップにしたいっていうふうに<笑>そうすごいそうで,すで,で OK って言って当時の経営陣が OK OK かわおこのお店ってやっぱり一番手作りに僕作っていってるんですこのお店オープンする前からあの ASM っていうブランド名で活動はしてたんです、はいたくさんお金使ってくれてる買い物来てくれてる楽しんでくれてるお客さんをその行き場を失わせたらダメだっていう思いがあったんでそれでこんなの持ってこのお店を物件探してきてあのこういうお店やりたいんだって当時のボスに話をしたんです、はいはいはいはい、ここにお店をオープンしたら S2000 の人がこんぐらいは来て。デカルシート買う人がこんぐらいは来てくれるから最初からそんな完全に新しいお店っていうことはないからあのちゃんと経営続くぐらいの収益は出ますよっていうのも説明してそれでオープンしたのがこのお店で素晴らしいだから実際ねいろんなものを作るのもそんなにあの大企業同士だからっていうような。感じじゃなくて人の紹介とか飛び込みの電話とかそんなので付き合いが始まってそうでたまたまこう一流のところとたまたまつながることができて一流のところの紹介で違う一流のと知り合うことができてそれで長い間ずっと一緒に商売できてるんですね。So the Ricardo RSG show In、mm. Japan, in cooperation、mm. with、uh, mm. Ricardo Japan and also、uh, ASM, help、mm. in the development.、Mm. This shell is not available overseas.、Uh, it's made to suit Japanese、mm. bodies、mm. and shape. White body, Janai Karane. White body, here, bro. <laughs> the, so it's very interesting because、mm. the S2000 is very narrow in the cockpit.、Mm. It fits nicely. r s u a h and S2000 is the most narrow. Okay, but one does not come to ASM without picking up any goodies. So today I'm gonna pick up a Type S shift knob. And the good thing is, it's, it's yellow、um, and it's got those you know, shady end points. So I'm gonna be picking one of these up. And it's gonna be really good because it's gonna match the AP2 transmission that I'm putting into the car、uh, in a few weeks. Okay, so we finished our ASM adventure. I got an attack sticker. This is the art of attack Japanese style. <laughs> And Elbo has got a genuine ASM. No, it's actually, it's actually an OEM JDM item. And this is a shift knob, aluminium shift knob from the JDM Type S. Type S. Let's go install it. Okay, so now we're going to replace this. So, first of all, just to prove that this is a genuine. Honda Motors item made in Japan. So you gotta be very careful because there's a bunch of fake ones of these floating around actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On like Yahoo auctions, they're like really cheap. I'm、But、like, look,、mm, so guys, let's look at the quality of this. They, this, this is aluminium, but the quality of the aluminium has improved a lot from this generation, which is、That's... the same as the DC5R、mm -hmm. and the EP3R and the Euro RCL7,、uh, which you could scratch very easily. To、yeah. This this actually looks a lot like the titanium one. A lot of people mistake it for the titanium, but the titanium was darker. So, one thing I realized is that the S2000 needs a light shift knob. Before, I was running quite a heavy shift knob, which was, I think, like 250 grams. But ideally, it should be, I think, maybe like 100 to 60 or something, so you can feel the gated action. And I think that's, what, that's one of the things that makes driving an S2000 so satisfying. It's that shifting action. And You lose a lot of that if you have a very heavy shifter. So, you guys can see how different the AP1 original shift knob, which is this traditional style one, and the circle or the whole the globe type. And that's a lot of. Ah, pretty. Go on, come on. I'm just gonna put this in here. Let's see if it fits in perfectly. It should. Nice. Perfect weight, perfect shape, perfect color. Perfect. Yeah, it's so good at this yellow. Very convenient.、Uh, I gotta, gotta put the shift collar down a little bit so you can get the position just right. Oh. 
There we go. Mm. Okay, so I think this is pretty straight, but apparently it's not. So we, you're gonna make it super perfect, yes. how, just by eye. My master eye is looking at it and I take certain things on the dashboard as a, as a gauge. Like this line? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, comparison time. Old AP1 shift knob, new Type S AP2 shift knob. I mean, this one is, it's, it's bigger and obviously the shape is different. And uh, let's just see how it feels. Oh, I like that. And it should be, I like that. It I like that very much. So the number one reason to get a, a new round shift knob is to match the shape of my head. Uh, <laughs> So we're gonna go look at the uh, the other Demo S2000 to see the proper place to put the sticker. This is actually a really interesting point in Japanese culture. There are a lot of little, like, uh, little... Uh, significance? Yeah, yeah, points of significance. Ah, so does that. Okay, 